Now, first up, entertainer Susan Anton is calling the Smith Center home this weekend. She's no stranger to the strip, having performed for many years here in our city, and now she is back better than ever. And the show's called Already Home, and Susan's with us live to talk uh, uh, all home. about it. You're here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm already home. I'm not leaving. Uh, this is my couch. <laughs> I, there's a rip on it that yes, I'm going to manage. We're so excited. <laughs> five and Do a half so, because we need help. I'm very okay. handy around the house. <laughs> this is great. So you're good with the needle and such. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to put it all back together. Don't, it's so don't. good to be here. It's, it's great, great to having you. you. Let's Thank talk you. about your career for a second. You were Miss California back in 1969. Yes. Now, make sure everybody knows I was eight years old. I was, yeah, was going to say. I, I was, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that blew my mind when I read it. And then yep. uh, you obviously performed on stage and screen. You're back in Vegas with this new show. Uh, what can people expect when they see it? Uh, I, I'm so excited. You know, uh, I know Myron Martin and the Smith Center. Yeah. You watch the evolution of it and Cabaret Jazz and Clint Holmes is a good friend. What and, a venue. And I, it's such a great venue. And finally, I called Myron and I said, I've got to play this room. And so I have this show. It's called Already Home that I've been doing in Los Angeles with my L.A.-based band. And now I'm going to do it here in Las Vegas with some of Las Vegas' best musicians, John Wiedemeyer, Jess Gopin, Keith Nelson, Jamie Hosmer, and Jeff Nyman. <laughs> I love these guys. I've stole them from Clint Holmes, and so now we're fighting over the band. Oh, wow. But it's great music that celebrates uh, all of the times of our lives that have affected us in profound ways. Uh, there's a Bruce Springsteen song about 9-11. There's uh, Kenny Loggins' Conviction of the Heart, Bob Dylan, Forever Young, The Beatles, of course. So it's very contemporary. It's uh, provocative. And I'm just thrilled to be doing it. So was it tough to pick some of the songs on it's your so playlist? It's so hard to narrow it down. It was so hard to narrow it down. But uh, for me, I choose the material if it resonates in my soul. And mm -hmm. I think if I, if I relate to it in a personal way, like, you know, where was I on uh, 9-11? Mm -hmm. And I, I heard Bruce's song, and I thought, well, then I know that that's a feeling that will probably resonate for yeah. the audience. And also, uh, it has to connect with me rhythmically. But the lyrics are everything. And it was hard to narrow it down. Mm -hmm. But we've got 17 killer songs. I, I, let's talk about your stage show and how it's evolved over the years. Because about 20 years ago, right. you, you introduced your first cabaret type show. How's yeah. it evolved since then? Well, you know, this is so like not cabaret. I think the biggest evolution for me is watching myself grow through the years. When I started out as an entertainer, I was younger <laughs> and um, eager to please everybody else. Yeah. And the audience was more my parents' age, and so I catered more to that demographic. Well, now that audience of the music that I loved as a kid growing up in the 60s and 70s, that's me now. Mm -hmm. And so I feel more liberated, more free to really be my authentic self up there on the stage. I don't feel like I have to cater to anybody. I have to be honest and truthful, and so the material comes from a very you know, real place uh, organically for me. And uh, that's really freeing. And I think that's when craft becomes its most fun. No question. You've you been know? so lucky to be able to do so many things, sing on stage, be in a film, be uh, in a production, Menopause the Musical here in yeah, our own backyard yeah. at the Flamingo before. Do you have a favorite favorite type of production you like to do? Oh, gosh, I love them all. But, you know, I, I like what I'm going to be doing mm -hmm. with the band at Cabaret Jazz is definitely high on the list. But Broadway... I've been blessed to be in the Will Rogers Follies on Broadway mm -hmm. and Hurley Burley on Broadway. And also here in Las Vegas, I did Hairspray uh, mm -hmm. at, uh, down at the Luxor with the original Broadway cast. It was so much fun. There's nothing like that community of fellow actors that come and do a show every night mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, celebrate the audience, celebrate these wonderful the material. It's just, I, that's a real treasure. Mm -hmm. Well, the beauty is, is that uh, obviously New York, Broadway, uh, so much history there, but Vegas seems to be getting its own sort of Broadway feel yes. here as well. There's so many different productions here now. Well, that's, you know, the Smith Center is so, the arts changed my life. Yeah. When I was a young girl, um, it wasn't like I excelled in, in school. I mean, you did it because you had to, but it didn't, didn't capture my heart. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was in New York City. I was 15 years old. I was at Radio City Music Hall. And I will never forget, the Rockettes came out on the stage, and they started dancing. And then the screen dropped down, and Julie Andrews was singing, The Hills Are Alive with the Sound of Music. And I thought, that's what I want to mm -hmm. do. That, 
resonated in my soul. And if I hadn't had the experience of the arts, I don't know where I would have found how I fit in. So now with our beautiful Smith Center and the programs that they have for the children of our community of to course. come and be exposed to the best that there is from Broadway, it's, uh, it's so stimulating and it's right here in our backyard. It couldn't, it, it's so wonderful. What advice would you give to girls watching you right now that want to break into the business? You know, I think training is everything. I mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of training. I just got lucky and on pure instincts. Mm -hmm. And so I got my training as I got older. But I think the most important thing is to stay true to yourself and know that there is nobody else out there like you. Mm -hmm. So don't try to be anybody other than yourself. Yeah. You know, whether you're tall, this, that, black, white, whatever you are mm -hmm. that's unique and wonderful, yeah. celebrate it. Amen. Well, yeah. thank you so much. You. Thank Congratulations you. Congratulations on your show. Thank right. you. I'm so <laughs> excited. Come, everybody. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, don't miss Susan Anton already home tonight and tomorrow inside Cabaret Jazz at the Smith Center. Showtime, 7 p.m. both nights. For tickets, call the number or check out the website right there on your screen.